September 6th, St. Eleutherius, Abbot. The holy man, Old Father Eutherius, is spoken of several times in the dialogues of St. Gregory, wherein are chronicled certain miracles reported of him by his monks. A wonderful simplicity and a spirit of compunction were the distinguishing virtues of this holy man. He was abbot of the monastery of St. Mark near Spoleto, and once, when lodging at a convent of nuns, he was asked to take over the care of a boy who was nightly troubled by a devil. St. Eleutherius did so, and for a long nothing untold happened to the boy so that the abbot said the devil was having a game with those sisters but now that he has to deal with the servants of god he daren't come near the child as if in rebuke of a speech that certainly savored of boasting the boy was at once afflicted by his former trouble eleutherius was conscience-stricken and he said to his brethren that stood by none of us shall eat until this boy is disposed all fell into prayer and did not cease until the child was again ridden of the demon one holy saturday saint gregory was ill and could not fast whereat he tells us he was considerably disturbed when i found on this sacred vigil when not only adults but even children fast that i could not refrain from eating i was more grieved thereby than troubled by my illness so he asked St. Eleutherius to pray for him that he might join the people in their penance, and soon by virtue of that prayer Gregory found himself enabled to abstain from food. The same Pope, remarking that the abbot was said to have raised a man to life, added, He was so simple a man, one of such great penance, that we must not doubt that Almighty God granted much to his tears and his humility after resigning his abbacy st eleutherius died in rome in st andrew's monastery about the year five eighty five be not seen by men as fasting but by thy father who is in heaven and thy father who sees in secret will reward thee